obedience must cease. As INEC witness runs away in court after seeing Mr. Pitovi's evidence. Hello, people. Welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. You know, today's court proceeding you know, was really, really funny and it was really, really interesting. You know, I must tell you for the fact, I told you guys uh, the other day that today being the third day of July 2023, that INEC will be coming up with their witnesses that will come and testify against Pitovi during the just concluded presidential election. You know, after uh, this particular uh, information was reviewed, a lot of people started wondering, what, what is the uh, witness that, that they're going to go into court and what kind of witnesses are they going to call and what kind of testimonies are they coming to, do, to testify against P2B? Because it is obvious that they rigged the election, they manipulated the election, and they didn't even follow their guidelines uh, just to declare the Balatini with the president of this particular country. You know, a lot of people we are curious about today and what will happen in court today. Well, when the court session actually started today, you know, Labour Party was actually represented by Ahmed. That you know, he hasn't been in court for some time now. We've only been seeing P2B and other Labour Party uh, executives and representatives. So today, Ahmed, that who is the uh, running mate of uh, 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 P2B during the just concluded presidential election, you know, was representing the Labour Party. Then uh, the other lawyers representing Labour Party and uh, Dr. Liv Uzuku was. Uh, he was uh, present in the court uh, room today and all that, you know. And, you know, when all the uh, justices appeared and everybody was seated and, and the court uh, section actually proceeded, something really, really funny happened. You know, like I've, like I've always told people that you cannot defend illegality. That is one thing about life. You cannot defend illegality. You even, you at the end of the day, you start making a mess of yourself. You know, like I said, a lot of people are curious to know what, what is it that INEC is going to say against P2B? A man that won election fair and square, and you guys rigged the election, and you want to come and testify against him. You want to see the the, the witness and the evidence you want to present against our uh, people. You know, when the court uh, section started, when the court session, uh, when the, when the court section started, you know, people be the legal team, you know, started bringing in boxes of evidence. Normally, this is what they do, and they got new evidences are from this INEC after they subpoenaed them, you know, they started bringing in new boxes of evidence to the uh, courtroom and all that, you know. And when, when, like I've said, when they were all seated, now the court session now started. But uh, Shetima and Tinibu's lawyers, Uolo or, 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 or Lani Peku, you know, represented uh, Shetima and uh, Tinibu's uh, legal counsel today. You know, when the uh, case started, when they caught up the case, INEC stood up and said that the matter is for defense. That is for them for, to open just the case. Now, according to INEC, they said they had three witnesses that they wanted to call, but we slated one for this morning. That's our only witness for today. That witness could not make it today due to some emergency. We still have three days. We still have three days uh, to present our case. It's an unfortunate situation, and in these circumstances, I have to ask that it, it, it I have to ask that the court should be adjourned tomorrow morning. You know, INEC was given more than ten days to prepare for this particular court section today, to call their witnesses to testify against P2B. And I told you guys in my previous video that there is a witness that, that, that they want to call from the ICT center uh, during the presidential election. Now, they are coming out to tell us that, that they had three witnesses to present, that one that the one that was supposed to come today didn't come. You know, the most funny thing about it is that they did not give the reason why the person didn't come, why the person didn't appear in court to come and testify against P2B and probably give whatever evidence that they've cooked up against uh, P2B. The person did not come and he did not give any uh, reason. He only stated that because of some emergency. You know, it was when P2B, a uh, 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 legal representative, being uh, the lead counsel, uh, Liv Uzuku, when, they leave, when Liv Uzuku, you know, uh, wanted to, you know, make his own contribution concerning this recent development in court, he said something. He said, Liv Uzuku said, my learned friend should have told me. I don't know whether it's because of the boxes we brought in right after my lordships came in, in that made him scared. But we, but we won't be opposing. So he agreed for the adjournment of that particular case tomorrow. Now look at what he said, because, you know, like I've said, some people are very, very scared. When you see the level of evidence that P2P is, is bringing and presenting in court, it's not child's play or it's not something that, that anyone would, would see without being afraid. You know, when the court started, they started bringing in boxes of evidence in court. And it's probably what made the evidence to run away or the witness that INEC brought, because they couldn't give a reason why the witness did not even come to the court section like I've said, he cannot defend illegality because there is nothing the witness wants to say. Rather, the witness will make a caricature of himself before the courtroom. The witness will make a caricature of himself before the courtroom. 
That is why the witness decided not to appear. And, and from the information we are getting, I don't think the witness wants to come again. Because from, from the information we got, they said that the witness has you know, declined to appear before the court to, to testify against P2B. And the truth is that he cannot defend illegality. He cannot defend illegality. How INEC manipulated everything. They did not follow their own guidelines. They did not do anything. It's still yet they want to call a witness to come and testify against P2B. Did P2B rig an election? No. Did P2B, uh, or was P2B the one that you declared the president when the person did not meet 25% of the required number of votes in, uh, in the federal capital territory? No. Still yet they are calling a witness to come and testify. And the witness is telling them that he doesn't want to come before the court to testify again. You know, they, have, they just have three days to present these their witnesses, or else the court will move on over to uh, Bolatinibu and Shetima's uh, witnesses that they want to call to come and defend their own case. If, if you could recall, P2B, you know, is challenging both INEC, uh, Bolatinibu, and uh, Shetima's uh, ticket, and equally the APC. So the next people that, that is going to call up their witness, if INEC fails to pre present any witnesses, Bolatinibu and, uh, and Shetima, because Tinibu needs to call a witness to come and defend his drug-related case. He needs to call a witness to come and defend his uh, uh, certificate forgery and his double nomination. So we are just waiting for Nigerians or probably people who would actually come in to stand in as witnesses for these people and see what they will say and how they will make caricature and how they caujo themselves. You know, it is really, really funny today in court session. The court session did not even last up to 40 minutes, and, you know, it was just adjourned tomorrow because of the fear. They were scared after they were given 10 good days. It's not like this thing came impromptu, or probably they weren't prepared for this particular court session. No, they were. They were fully prepared, but because they were so scared, 10 good days was not even enough for them to prepare, and they couldn't even present one particular witness today. Well, they should know that no matter how they run, no matter how they run, they will come out, they will come back, they will come back and tell us how they declared Balantinibu the winner when they did not follow the guidelines, when they when Tinibu did not meet the constitutional requirements. When Tinibu do, did not meet the constitutional the, the constitutional requirements. So they must come and justify and come and prove to us how, how they declared Tinibu, even when the results were not even uploaded to IRF. When the results were not even uh, ascertained, they decided to make use of the manipulated result they had to declare the winner. So they must come as a matter of fact. We will give them time. If, if they like, let them run. They will come and defend the illegality that and the rascality they committed, all in the name of uh, putting Bolatinibu as the president of this particular country. Well, I would like you guys to drop a comment in the comment section. Section, I call it subscribe.